Hey guys, what's happening? So, just picked this up on Amazon. And actually, I've been wanting to do one of these for a while. And it's actually a brushless upgrade kit uh, for my uh, 3018 CNC right here. So I'm currently running like a like a brushed. Uh, it's a 24 volt spindle. I think it's like a 200 watts. So it's an upgraded from like the super cheap one. And as you can tell, obviously my 3018 is heavily modified. But um, one of the issues I ran into cutting aluminum with this thing was that the spindle didn't have enough torque to cut through some of the aluminum. So I had to run this thing at really low speeds. Uh, plus I wanted something more rigid and, and bigger. So let me show you what I got. So this is a made by Daedalus. So it was a kit that came with everything in it. It came with a uh, power supply. So this is a 110 to uh, 48 volt power supply. It came with that. I think this was a, I had a coupon. I think it was like uh, 185, I think. So it wasn't cheap. Um, but it came with the whole kit. It came with the, uh, it's an ER16 uh, collet system, so it came with all the different collets. It came with the uh, tachometer, so I can see the actual spindle speed. And it actually has the brushless spindle, and it's thicker than your typical 3018 spindle. Um, so your typical 3018 spindle is like 52 millimeter. So even the 500 watt one is 52 millimeter, the brush one. Um, but the brushless one is, uh, I think it's a 55 millimeter, so it's larger in diameter. It did come with the brackets, but I'm not going to use those. I've already 3D printed my uh, new brackets for my system. You know, the bearing extension and the uh, mount to clear here. But this video is just going to be like an introduction to what I'm doing here in this thing. So yeah, this is a much... It's, it's thicker, heavier, and all the above, and it's ER16, call it. So that's the difference between ER11 and ER16. So 11 millimeter versus 16 millimeter. So that's going to give it even more rigidity. It can also use bigger bits, too. Um, yeah, maybe I could just steal this thing. We'll see. I'll try it. All right, so got that going. Got that first part done. I've also designed, like, a complete electrical box. A uh, whole containment system for the back of that to hold the, the power supply. I wanted to phase out this old AC adapter. Um, yeah, that way I could actually just run everything off this one power supply. So it's a 110 input. And then I also got a, uh, well, these are called buck converters. And this thing actually converts. I've actually created a spot on my box. So this is actually going to step down the uh, 48 volts to... Um, yeah, I can either sip it down to 12 volts or 24 volts, depending on what kind of board I'm running. So, um, now that I actually had you actually have a buck converter, I might switch over my original woodpecker uh, main board to my DLC board. I've already created a box for that and everything. So, um, so here's a controller. So, with a, with a brush motor, you can just basically add power to it. You know, it's, there's polarity, you know, and you just go on and off, right? Forward, reverse. You switch the polarity around. But with a brush motor, it's different. You're energizing coil, individual coils. So I actually made another video about the difference between a brushed and brushless motor. But you need a controller for a brush, brush, or brushless motor. Um, and there's a couple of ways you can control the RPM range. I actually I want to control mine from gerbil, but this actually did come with a uh, pan tensiometer, which is a variable resistor, and um, also has an on and off switch. So it's actually wired into here. Um, but actually, I do have from another part coming in, coming in too that I can control. I can convert a uh, pulse width modulated 12-foot uh, output to a 10-volt. Uh, sort of like for, um, well, to control this thing, it kind of uses more like the Mach 3 style. 0 to 10 volt to control the uh, RPM range or the, or the motor speed. So I need a way to take gerbil. Gerbil doesn't actually, under, gerbil doesn't control the, the spindle with the 0 to 10 volt. Uh, that's usually typically with Mach 3, so I gotta find the solution. I want actually I want to have a double solution. I want to have a solution where I can either use gerbil or I can use this little button here. But I'm actually gonna design a new interface for my LCD. So it's gonna be it's actually gonna have my LCD on it. Uh, this is actually a touchscreen uh, TFT uh, 32, and it's gonna be a combination of the LCD, the the uh, tachometer, my adjustment knob, on/off switch and a couple of other things here in the front. 
so I can control the spindle for stuff from right here. So, so yeah, I've already designed all the boxes. I just gotta start printing them out now. But yeah, this was just an introduction to show you what I'm doing with this thing, but um, this will hopefully be able to blow through aluminum, you know, with the bigger spindle and possibly cut steel. Um, but yeah, I mean, this thing actually already cuts aluminum fine. You just, you just have to go really slow with it. So I made other videos about cutting aluminum with this. But if you're wondering, you see this 3018 CNC, this has been heavily upgraded with ball screws, extra linear, you know, extra mounts, you know, chip catching system. Um, so it's really, uh, actually, it's, it's pretty awesome now. So, all right. So this is part one, and I also have uh, coming up, um, I got sick of uh, using my air compressor um, to use for my air blower right here. Um, it's just so loud. I mean, this thing's gone on and off, and uh, my air compressor's loud. So some of these, some of my CNC cutting products took like eight hours. So my air compressor's gone on and off the whole day, and it's loud. So I thought I'd try one of these uh, air bubblers, like an aquarium air bubbler. And I like to be able to control that via MOSFET. Uh, which I can run off my the power supply here too. And I can control from gerbil the cool on and off, but this is actually much more quiet. And I'll do an individual video about this, giving this to go, but yeah, if, it, if I can make this a lot more quiet, not bugging my neighbors with the air compressor, uh, that'd be good. So, all right, cool.